My beloved child, I speak to you now with all the love and tenderness a father can possess. You, my precious creation, are embarking on a journey that may seem daunting, but I assure you, you can and you will make it. Just as you have placed your unwavering trust in me, know that I, too, believe in you with a fervor that surpasses all understanding. In the depths of your being, there lies a strength far greater than you can fathom. It is a resilience I have woven into the very fabric of your soul, a power that has been dormant, waiting for this very moment to awaken. My child, you are infinitely stronger than your doubts would have you believe. The challenges before you may loom large, but they pale in comparison to the mighty spirit I have bestowed upon you. I urge you now to call upon my spirit, to invite my guiding presence into every aspect of your life. As you do so, watch and wonder as new doors of opportunity swing wide before you. These are not mere coincidences, but divine appointments I have orchestrated for your growth and success. Each opportunity is a stepping stone I have carefully placed along your path, leading you towards the glorious future I have prepared for you. My little warrior, my brave and valiant child, let us embark on this journey together. There is no challenge too great, no obstacle too formidable when we stand united. Together, we will scale mountains of adversity and cross valleys of uncertainty. With each step forward, you will discover reserves of courage you never knew you possessed. I have not called you to walk this path alone. My hand is ever extended, ready to lift you when you stumble, to steady you when you waver. In moments of doubt, lean on my everlasting strength. When fear threatens to overwhelm you, remember that I am your refuge and fortress. My love for you is unchanging, a constant beacon guiding you through the darkest of nights. As you face each new day, I want you to hold your head high, knowing that you are my cherished child. If you want God's grace to be a constant in your life, a steady guiding force, then please consider supporting our ministry. By clicking the thanks button, your support means more than you can imagine. The same hands that formed the universe crafted you with exquisite care and purpose. Every fiber of your being resonates with the potential I have placed within you. You are not defined by your past mistakes or limited by your present circumstances. In my eyes, you are a masterpiece in progress, continually being shaped and refined for greatness. Remember, my child, that the journey ahead is not just about reaching a destination. It is about who you become along the way. Each challenge you face is an opportunity for growth, each setback a chance to demonstrate resilience. I am not merely interested in your success, I am invested in your transformation. As you trust in me and step out in faith, you will find yourself evolving into the person I have always seen you to be. For a transformative experience, keep this video on loop and let these spiritual insights sink in. Do not be discouraged by the pace of your progress. Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither is character. Embrace each moment of your journey, for even in the waiting, I am working. When you feel stagnant, know that roots are growing deeper. When you face resistance, understand that muscles are being strengthened. Your journey is unique, tailor-made by my loving hand. Comparison is futile, for you are running your own race, one that I have specifically designed for you. In times of uncertainty, when the path ahead seems shrouded in mist, listen for my voice. I am constantly speaking to you, through my word, through the whispers of my spirit, through the beauty of my creation. Attune your heart to my frequency, and you will find guidance in the most unexpected places. My wisdom is available to you in abundance. All you need do is ask. As you step out in faith, be prepared for opposition. The enemy of your soul trembles at your potential, and will attempt to derail you with doubt and fear. But take heart. Greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world. You are equipped with my armor, fortified by my truth. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, for you are shielded by my love, and empowered by my spirit. 
I call you now to dream big, to expand your vision beyond the confines of what seems possible. The dreams I have placed in your heart are not too grand, nor are they out of reach. They are seeds of destiny, waiting to be watered by your faith and nurtured by your perseverance. Do not be afraid to voice these dreams, to pursue them with passion. For as you align your desires with my will, you become an unstoppable force for good in this world. Your life is a testimony in the making. A story of redemption and triumph that will inspire many. The challenges you overcome today will become the testimony that strengthens someone else tomorrow. Your willingness to persevere in the face of adversity not only shapes your character, but also paves the way for others to find hope and courage. I am calling you to a life of purpose, a life that transcends mediocrity and complacency. You were not created to simply exist, but to thrive, make a lasting impact on this world. The gifts and talents I have bestowed upon you are not for your benefit alone, but for the edification of many. As you step into the fullness of who I've created you to be, you become a conduit of my love and grace to a world in desperate need. Do not be dismayed by the size of the task before you. Remember David who faced Goliath not with his own strength, but with unwavering faith in me. Like him, you too can conquer giants. The obstacles in your path are not meant to defeat you. But to reveal the depth of your faith and the extent of my power working through you. In moments of weakness, when you feel inadequate for the call, recall my promises. I have declared that my grace is sufficient for you, and my power is made perfect in weakness. Your perceived shortcomings are merely opportunities for my strength to be displayed. Embrace your vulnerabilities, for it is through them that my light shines brightest. As you journey forward, cultivate a heart of gratitude. Thankfulness is the soil in which joy flourishes. Even in the midst of trials, there is always something to be grateful for. Feel free to share this video with up to three people. If you feel the need for God's presence, let others too bask in the divine light of our Heavenly Father. Train your eyes to see the blessings that surround you, small mercies I bestow each day. A grateful heart is a magnet for miracle, attracting more of my goodness into your life. I urge you to surround yourself with fellow believers who will encourage and uplift you. The path of faith was never meant to be walked alone. Seek out mentors who can guide you, friends who can support you, and communities where you can grow. In the company of like-minded believers, you will find strength for the journey and accountability for your growth. Do not be discouraged by setbacks or temporary defeats. They are not indicators of your worth or potential. Rather, view them as valuable lessons, refining your strategy and strengthening your resolve. In my kingdom, failure is never final. It is merely a stepping stone to greater wisdom and eventual success. I call you to be bold in your faith, unashamed of the gospel, and unafraid to stand for truth. In a world that often opposes my ways, you are called to be a light, to stand firm in your convictions. Your unwavering faith will be a beacon of hope to many, drawing them towards the warmth of my love. As you press forward, remember that rest is not a luxury, but a necessity. I have designed you to need periods of refreshment and renewal. Do not neglect the Sabbath rest I have ordained. In moments of quiet and solitude, you will find renewed strength and clarity of purpose. It is often in the stillness that you will hear my voice most clearly. Embrace the process of pruning and refinement. Just as a gardener cuts away dead branches to promote new growth, I sometimes remove things from your life that no longer serve my purpose for you. Trust in my wisdom, even when it's painful. The temporary discomfort of pruning leads to abundant fruitfulness. Your identity is not found in your accomplishments or failures, but in your relationship with me. You are my child, loved unconditionally, and accepted completely. Let this truth be the foundation upon which you build your life. When the world tries to define you by its standards, remember who you are in me. 
I call you to a life of integrity, to be the same person in private as you are in public. Character is built in the hidden moments, in the choices you make when no one is watching. Strive to align every aspect of your life with my word, for a life of integrity is a powerful testimony to my transforming great. Do not be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Growth happens at the edges of your current capabilities. Each time you face your fears and overcome them, you expand the territory of your influence. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Let these gifts propel you into new realms of possibility. As you encounter success, remember to walk in humility. Every good gift comes from above, and your achievements are a testament to my grace working in your life. Use your platform, no matter how small or large, to glorify me and to serve others. True greatness in my kingdom is measured by your willingness to serve. Be patient with the process of your growth. Just as a tree takes years to reach its full height, your spiritual and personal development is a lifelong journey. Celebrate the small victories along the way, for they are indicators of your progress. Every step forward, no matter how small, is significant in my eyes. I urge you to be a person of prayer. Cultivate a consistent dialogue with me. Prayer is not just about presenting your requests, but about aligning your heart with mine. As you spend time in my presence, you will find your perspective shifting, your burdens lifting, and your spirit strengthening. Nothing is too small or too large to bring before me in prayer. Remember that your struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the spiritual forces of evil. Therefore, whip yourself daily with the full armor I have provided. Let my truth be your belt, my righteousness your breastplate, the readiness to share the gospel your shoes. Take up the shield of faith, wear the helmet of salvation, and wield the sword of the Spirit, which is my word, in your interactions with others, and the royal be a bearer of my love and grace. Your kindness may be the only glimpse of my character. Someone sees today. Let your words be seasoned with salt, bringing healing and encouragement. Be quick to forgive, just as I have forgiven you. Your ability to extend grace in difficult situations is a powerful testimony of my work in your life. As you pursue your goals, remember that success in my kingdom often looks different from worldly success. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Dear child, if you wish to aid our ministry in spreading the message of Jesus, kindly consider supporting us by donating through the Buy Me A Coffee link provided in the description and pinned comment. Your primary aim should be to please me and to fulfill the purpose for which I created you. As you align your ambitions with my will, you will find true fulfillment and lasting joy. Do not allow the opinions of others to deter you from the path I have set before you. While wisdom can be found in godly counsel, ultimately, you must follow my leading in your life. There will be times when my calling on your life doesn't make sense to those around you. In these moments, cling to my promises and trust in my guidance. I call you to be a lifelong learner, always growing in wisdom and understanding. Study my word diligently, for in it, you will find the keys to abundant living. Seek knowledge and apply it with discernment. As you grow in understanding, you become better equipped to navigate the complexities of life and to assist others on their journey. In times of waiting, do not grow weary. I am always working, even when you cannot see it. The seasons of seeming inactivity are often the times of greatest preparation. Like a seed germinating underground, Unseen growth is taking place in your life. Trust in my timing, for I make all things beautiful in their time. Be mindful of the company you keep, for it has a profound impact on your journey. Surround yourself with those who challenge you to grow, who speak life into your dreams, and who point you towards me. Distance yourself from relationships that pull you away from my purpose for your life. Your associations will either propel you forward or hold you back. I urge you to steward well the resources I have entrusted to you. 
Your time, talents, and treasures are gifts to be used for my glory and the benefit of others. Develop a mindset of abundance, recognizing that as you give generously, you open the floodgates for my blessings in your life. Remember, you cannot outgive God. As you walk this path of faith, be prepared for seasons of testing. Just as gold is refined by fire, your faith is strengthened through trials. In these moments, draw near to me. Let the challenges drive you deeper into my presence, where you will find the strength and wisdom to overcome. Your tested faith is precious to me, and a powerful witness to the world. Do not neglect the power of community in your journey. You are part of a larger body, each member uniquely gifted and essential. Engage fully in your local church, using your gifts to serve and allowing others to minister to you. In the fellowship of believers, you will find encouragement, accountability, and opportunities for growth. I call you to be a person of excellence, doing all things as unto me. Whether your task seems significant or mundane, approach it with diligence and integrity. Your work is an act of worship when done with the right heart. As you excel in your endeavors, you create opportunities to glorify me and to influence others positively. Be attentive to the promptings of my spirit. I often speak in the gentle whispers of your heart. Cultivate a sensitivity to my voice, learning to distinguish it amidst the noise of the world. As you follow my leadings, you will find yourself walking in divine appointments and supernatural opportunities. Remember that your journey is not just about personal growth, but about impacting the lives of others. Look for opportunities to mentor those coming behind you, to share the lessons you've learned and to extend a helping hand. Your experiences, both triumphs and trials, can be a source of hope and guidance for others on their path. In moments of decision, seek my wisdom. I promise that if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask me, and it will be given to you generously. Cultivate a habit of bringing every choice, big or small, before me. As you align your decisions with my will, you will find yourself walking in paths of righteousness and peace. Be vigilant in guarding your heart, for it is the wellspring of life. Be careful about what you allow to influence your thoughts and emotions. Fill your mind with things that are true, noble, right, pure, lovely, and admirable. As you focus on these things, you will find your perspective aligning more closely with mine. I urge you to be a peacemaker in a world filled with conflict. Blessed are the peacemaker, for they will be called children of God. Seek to build bridges where others create walls. Your ability to bring reconciliation and understanding in difficult situations is a powerful testimony of my love working through you. As you grow in your faith, be prepared for increased responsibility. To whom much is given, much is required. Embrace the opportunities I bring your way to lead, to serve, and to influence. With each new level of influence comes a greater call to humility and dependence on me. Remember that your body is the temple of my Holy Spirit. Honor me with your body by taking care of your physical health. Proper rest, nutrition, and exercise are not just good practices, but acts of stewardship of the vessel I have given you. A healthy body supports a vibrant spirit and enables you to serve me and others more effectively. In your pursuit of success, do not neglect the important relationships in your life. Nurture your family ties, invest in deep friendships, and prioritize your marriage if you are married. These relationships are gifts from me, designed to support, encourage, and bring joy to your journey. Be a person of your word, letting your yes be yes and your no be no. Your integrity in keeping your commitments, no matter how small, builds trust and opens doors of opportunity. People will come to rely on you as someone who can be counted on. Reflecting my faithfulness in your life, I call you to be a lifelong worshiper, not just in song but in lifestyle. Let every aspect of your life be an act of worship to me. In your work, your relationships, your leisure, in all things, seek to bring glory to my name. As you live a life of worship, 
you invite my presence to dwell richly in every area of your existence. Do not be discouraged by the pace of your spiritual growth. Sanctification is a lifelong process. Celebrate the small victories, the incremental changes that are shaping you into my image. Remember, I am patient and loving, gently guiding you towards maturity and faith. Be bold in sharing your faith with others. You have been entrusted with the greatest message of hope the world has ever known. Do not keep it to yourself. Look for opportunities to share my love and the good news of salvation with those around you. Your testimony has the power to change lives eternally. In times of abundance, practice gratitude and generosity. In times of lack, trust in my provision. I am your source, not your job, your bank account, or your circumstances. As you learn to rely on me in all situations, you will experience a peace that surpasses understanding. Cultivate a heart of compassion for those around you. Be quick to notice the needs of others and prompt to offer help. Your acts of kindness, no matter how small, can be powerful demonstrations of my love. Remember, whatever you do for the least of these, you do for me. Your compassion is a reflection of my heart, touching lives in ways you may never fully realize. If you believe in the power and grace of God, Type triple nine in the comments below. Share this video with up to three friends and like the video. My beloved child, know that my love for you is boundless and my faith in you is unwavering. You are embarking on a journey filled with purpose, growth, and divine encounters. Though the path may not always be easy, will always be worth it. Remember, you are never alone. I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Go forth with confidence, knowing that you are fully equipped for every good work I have prepared for you. Your potential is limitless when aligned with my will. Trust in the strength I've placed within you. Lean on my wisdom and watch as seemingly impossible dreams become reality. You are my masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which I prepared beforehand that you should walk in them. Embrace your identity as my child. Step into the fullness of your calling, and let your light shine brightly in this world. Amen.